for engineering services general studies video lectures visit www.isgeneralstudies.com for mechanical engineering video lectures and question and answers discussion visit www.gatemech.com okay here is one easy way to learn the different characteristics of different biomes i have made a table here Tab table shows the different characteristics of the biomes if you are studying in this manner it will be easy for you to study and also to memorize the characteristics of the different biomes let us start from the tropical biomes tropical tropical forest where are these tropical forests found tropical forests are found in the tropical regions that is the region near the equator so it can be up to 30 degree north to 30 degree south latitudes we can find this kind of forest and there are mainly two types of tropical forest first one is evergreen forest and deciduous forest evergreen forests are otherwise called tropical rain forests they are mainly confined around the equator or equatorial forest the difference between these two kind of forest is in the precipitation here in tropical evergreen forest the precipitation is higher and it will be well distributed throughout the year but in deciduous forest precipitation will be little lesser and it will be seasonal either winter will be dry or summer will be dry that is there occurs alternate wet and dry periods so the trees here will shed their leaves during the dry season to conserve the moisture and a particular type of forest in this season is in this region is monsoon forest monsoon forests are especially in india the regions which get rain from the monsoon winds <coughs> these are type of deciduous forests and we saw the main characteristic of a tropical ecosystem is its temperature and precipitation both are in the higher range so humidity is higher and temperature is also higher so what could be the type of soil in this region soil in this region is characterized by the process called leaching leaching is a type of soil erosion where the soil nutrients are transported to the down sub layers of the soil what remaining in the soil will be only aluminium and iron compounds iron oxides this will form a hard layer on the top soil all other oxides will be transported down through this process called leaching because their precipitation is very high and the soil erosion is also very high and these soils are called laterite soils laterite soils are not so rich in nutrients and they are acidic acidic because these compounds are slightly acidic in nature why these soil don't have nutrients despite higher diversity of plant life in this region because here the humus what is humus humus is undecomposed partially decomposed organic matter in the soil here the humus will be decomposed very fast due to higher rate of microbial activity because of higher humidity and higher temperature microbial activity will be very high and all humus will be decomposed very fast so there won't be any stored nutrients in the soil for the plants so the soil will be generally less nutrient rich but comparatively this deciduous forest will be richer in nutrients and what kind of plants will be here the plants will be mainly trees that is also large and tall trees because we know enough moisture and sunlight is available in this region so trees can go very high high very high biomass will be available in these trees and these trees grows 
in different layers in the forest different vertical layers the upper canopy middle canopy and this under layer this under layer will be mostly devoid of vegetation because the sunlight can rarely penetrate through this thick canopy to the ground layer so the grass species will be very less in this ecosystem mainly it will be herbs ferns creepers or epiphytes epiphytes are the plants living on the branches of the trees like orchids creepers will grow from down and they will climb the trees and the foliage will be in the upper layers they also compete with the tree for the sunlight so these plants are the characteristic fe feature of this tropical forest which, uh, which is um, not present in other kind of forests. Also another characteristic is these trees will be broad leaved. Broad leaved trees means they are broad leaved to enhance the photosynthetic activity. But in other forests we may be finding needle shaped or spike shaped trees mainly for conserving the moisture but here the conserving moisture is not a important criteria so the trees can be broad leaved broad leaved leaves and these leaves also intercept the precipitation and try to reduce the soil erosion by direct impact of the rain on the soil this determines the animal life right so the main animal in this region will be arboreal animals what is arboreal animals arboreal animals are tree living animals like monkeys birds bats snakes lizards chameleons like this kind of species the diversity is very rich in tropical forests if we take the species in the earth species diversity in the earth <coughs> Almost 40% of the known plant and animal life is present in this tropical forest. Even though they are occupying very less area like almost 7% of the total geographic area only. But they support almost 40% of the total plant and animal diversity. So we can see most of the biodiversity hotspots will be in this region, in the tropical regions. And especially the insects, birds and amphibians. Where it is very high. And in often in news, we will hear like a new species of frog is found in western girls. Like that news are common. And one important point you have to notice here is grass feeding animals. Large herbivores like bisons or giraffe kind of large herbivores are absent in this forest because here there is very less undergrowth herbivores are very uh, can't survive in such thick vegetate uh, thick forest their movement will also be restricted so we can't find large herbivores in this tropical forest but we can find elephants and in uh, assam forest in our in our country we can find the rhinoceros also but we can't find the bisons or large herds of uh, animals that we usually found in the grasslands in this forest. So these are the important characteristics of a tropical ecosystem. Okay, next we can see about the temperate forest. Where are these forests found? These forests are found in the temperate regions. Why these regions are called temperate regions? Temperate word means moderate. So these regions are having moderate temperature It comes in between the polar and equatorial regions. This type of temperate forests are mainly found in the Northeast America or Northeast Asia and in Europe. You, have, you can notice that this kind of forests are mainly found in the eastern margins of the continents. Western margins it will be grasslands. Eastern margins there will be higher precipitation in these regions. So there will be forests. And the precipitation range is 
75 to 150 cm temperature is moderate and the soil is fertile and this kind of forests are mainly two types of forests they are called hardwood uh, they are consist of hardwood and softwood trees this hardwood trees we found in the tropical regions in tropical evergreen and tropical deciduous forests we can find the hardwood trees and softwood trees are found in the coniferous regions in taiga forest they are mainly softwood trees what are these hardwood and softwood trees hardwood trees are angiosperms this is a biological term and these are gymnosperms which denotes the seed structure and the flowering these are flowering plants these are these are called naked seeds gymnosperms and this wood is very sturdy it is very hard to work with but softwood is very easy to work with examples of hardwood trees are what we are finding in tropical regions like rosewood ebony and all and softwood trees are in coniferous forests like pine fir kind of trees are softwood trees so both kind of trees are found in the temperate forest and this hardwood trees here are generally deciduous trees deciduous uh, trees we saw they will shed their leaves seasonally to conserve moisture during the dry season so in this temperate forest the seasons are well defined there will be autumn there will be spring there will be winter there will be summer so well defined seasons are there the trees also behave as per the seasons example of this deciduous trees are oak beech maple cherry and the coniferous trees are pine fir so the animals are also generally ground living animals opposite to the tree living animals in the tropical forest this there are more ground living animals like rabbits ground squirrels deer fox and marsupials like kangaroo panda in china forest so these are the variety of animals found in this region but comparative to the tropical forest they are less diverse they may be found in larger numbers but the diversity of the species is less in temperate forest compared to the tropical forest and this temperate forest also have different subsystems it can be mountain forest mountain is a special ecosystem found in the mountain regions mountain regions climatic condition will be different from the surrounding regions even though in a tropical region there uh, the mountains will be having temperate climate for example nilgiris in our western ghats have temperate climates such places the temperate forests are called mountain forests and in mediterranean region also the forests are called temperate forests usually the mediterranean climate is considered a different type of climates in comparison with the tropical and temperate climates but the forest here is also a type of temperate forest so they form a sub system under this temperate forest so let us see about taiga forest or boreal forest this taiga region forms a continuous belt below the polar latitudes from america to asia it covers north america and asia siberia this region is called siberian region so it forms a continuous belt from covering these two continents the main characteristic of the taiga region is long cold and dry winters so the growing season is very less the rainfall is 40 to 100 cm so the trees here are confined to coniferous trees the uh, other hardwood trees are not found here only softwood coniferous trees are found in this forest and another characteristic is the soil the soil is called pot soils it 
This is a special kind of soil found in this region. It is characterized by a process called podzolization. What is podzolization? This is a process in which the aluminium and silicon, sorry, aluminium and iron. Oxides are leached down. We saw in tropical regions, aluminium and iron oxides remain in the top layer and other oxides are leached down. Here, this is opposite to laterization. Here, the iron and aluminium iron and aluminium compounds leach down and what remain is silicon oxides called silicon secusoids will remain on the layer and this silicon is a uh, gives a fair color to the soil it is sandy appearance silica silica you know it is a sand forming mineral right so the soil here has sandy appearance it is less nutrient less nutrient rich soils and is acidic so they are poor in nutrients and acidic soils characterized by the process of podzolization what caused this process here here there are needles pine needles pine is the major tree in this region pine needles secretes certain enzymes that aids this process podzolization process so this is one of the defining characteristic of the soil in this region and we saw the, they are coniferous. Coniferous trees are ever, evergreen trees. Their leaves are needle shaped leaves for conserving the moisture. Here the precipitation is comparatively less and they have to survive long dry seasons. Long dry seasons. So the needles are, the leaves are needle shaped to survive in this harsh climate during the winter. Examples are pine, spruce kind of trees and we have mainly fur bearing animals in this region because of the colder climates, fur bearing animals like bear, wolves, Siberian tigers and birds like woodpeckers, hawks are the common animals in this region. For engineering services, general studies video lectures, visit www.ilsgeneralstudies.com for mechanical engineering video lectures and question and answer discussion, visit www.getmap.com.